Welcome to the Lorehounds. We're your guides to Tolkien's world of Middle Earth. I'm David, and today with me, I have Aaron from Lore of the Rings podcast. Aaron is a good friend of ours. We've collaborated with him. He's collaborated with us, and uh, I'm really excited to have him on because he's going to be talking about this cool event that he's got planned. Aaron, how are you doing? How are you enjoying uh, Rings of Power season two? Hello, David. It's so good to be back with you and the Lorehounds community. I really love this audience. You've got some really, really good fans here. Love joining in the Discord, the conversations, and always just enjoy being here with you and and everything you that you have going on here with Lorehounds. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's it's really fun to have collaborative partners and in, in doing stuff. So, what do you think of uh, season two so far? Season two, Rings of Power, season two. So, I've watched all eight episodes uh, okay. as of this recording. All eight episodes are out. And I, I'm going to say that I am mixed. I am mixed emotions. And okay. uh, I'm talking this out with my wife and a few friends of mine. And I, <laughs> I'm, I, I can't not yet decide if I like it because I actually do like it or because I feel like I should like it. Uh huh. And I can't decide if I don't like it because I actually don't like it or I feel like I should not like it. So... Well, I'm, if I'm, only there were a few other podcasters you could maybe get together with on a live stream and talk it out. Yeah, exactly. If only there were other people out there who had some thoughts and some opinions about Rings of Power right? that I could talk with. Yeah. So I had this idea and it, I think this idea actually um, was born when I started listening to Marilyn and Rings of Rituals a little bit. Because oh, I, was, good yeah. Yeah, I was pretty fuming after season one of Rings of Power. Okay. I was pretty angry about a lot of things and, sure. and, you know, there were some good things that, you know, that I enjoyed, but I was on the whole pretty, pretty upset. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started listening to Marilyn and, and, uh, I forget her co-host name, Sarah, Dr. Honest. Sarah Brown. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Dr. Sarah Brown, um, and rings of ritual. And they kind of were explaining things in a different way, pointing out things that I had missed or interpreted differently. And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe there's more good here than my initial knee jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I, I had that kind of thought rolling in my brain. And then at the same time, I'm reading um, the letters of J.R.R. Tolkien for the first time right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's so many letters where Tolkien writes to his son, Christopher, and he says, hey, I, I went out drinking with C.S. Lewis and the Inklings, <laughs> and uh, they read this thing, and I hated it. Uh, but then I read my thing, and they all loved it. And, and he just would go on and on about these conversations he would have with his friends, who were all these literary geniuses. Mm -hmm. And they were willing to call each other out for their the, the garbage in their stories, but they were also willing to give like constructive feedback and mm -hmm. praise and all that right. stuff. Right. And I, I got to thinking like, hey, I'm a podcaster for Lord of the Rings. I, it brings up power. It brings up complicated reactions and emotions for me. Like maybe I could bottle a little bit of the magic that Tolkien and C.S. Lewis and the other Inklings oh, had I like this. Okay. And, and come together and get a few people who are passionate about Lord of the Rings, who are passionate about storytelling and passionate about just the culture that we have going on. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could get together and have a conversation about Rings of Power, its themes, its characters, its story, and capture a little bit of that magic and that essence and that spirit of what the Inklings had. I like um, it. And then that's when I started to turn to uh, you and, and John and the Lorehounds and, and Marilyn and a couple other podcasts. And I said, hey, guys, I've got this crazy idea. How about we all get together one night, totally unscripted, two hours, unfiltered, live event. Let's just get together and talk Rings of Power in the same way that Tolkien and Lewis and the Inklings would do around a couple of pints uh, in the, in right, the, down, at the, it, pub. the mm -hmm. down at the pub. Right. Yeah. The Eagle and Child. That's the Eagle and Child. Well, the Barrows and, oh, I can't remember it now. That was a tea house. That was pre Inklings. Yeah. That the was Barovian the Barovian Tea Club Society. That, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a common theme with Tolkien, like, whether he's like a, a college or, you know, a student or a mm -hmm. professor. He's always right. kind of creating these little circles of, mm, yeah. of storytelling geniuses, right? That he, that he, that he encircles himself around. He surrounds himself with these folks. And so, I, I was thinking maybe I could do the same, take a little leaf out of Tolkien's book and say, hey, fellow podcasters, fellow Tolkienites, let's right. get together. Let's talk Rings of Power because I get stuck. I see things and I get really angry or really excited about certain things. And then I hear other podcasters and they either like confirm my knee jerk reactions or they have something totally different to offer. And I just thought, where can I find some folks who have completely different opinions or interpretations mm -hmm. to offer that we could come together and just and just geek out about Tolkien and, and Rings of Power. 
Right. And go go deep on the lore maybe a little bit and look at the comparisons, look at the films, look at the the words. Yeah. So we've got you and John. We've got Marilyn from Rings and Rituals. And we have Danae from a podcast mm-hmm. called Captain's Pod. Right. Um, I, I met Danae and her co-host Ian. In uh, we, we collaborated. They are a Star Trek podcast, as you might imagine. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Pod. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I collaborated with them just to say, hey, how how might we like compare Star Trek and Lord of the Rings, you know, oh, Gene Roddenberry fun. and J.R. Tolkien? What are like, let's compare and contrast. Where are these Venn diagrams? Where do they overlap? Where are they not? Mm-hmm. Um, and it worked out really well because Danae, she is like interested in Star Trek, but she's the novice of Star Trek. And Ian is like the real big Trekkie right. mm-hmm. lore hound, if you will. Yep, and yep. so they play really well together. And then I was like super deep in Lord of the Rings. And so Danae was, and, and she is also really deep into Lord of the Rings. And so she was able to really kind of be this in-between person between Star Trek and Lord of the Rings. So I thought, hey, let's let's get her perspective as the outsider. We've got we've got you and John as the lore hounds. We've got Marilyn, the librarian, and I guess I'm just the wanderer, and I just get to sit at the feet of all of your brilliant <laughs> minds and ask questions and guide the conversation. So this podcast, this with uh, Captain's Pod, is there you recorded a podcast? Yeah, we did. We did one episode together, and. Okay. Uh, I think it's actually the longest episode of my feed. I think it came out to be about <laughs> hour and a half or so. Okay, um, yeah, that's t- that's that's short for Lord. <laughs> yeah, that's, for Lord I know that's short for Lord Hounds. <laughs> for for my audience on Lord of the Rings, I try to give kind of bite sized pieces, like right, 15, right, 20 right, minutes. Right. If I go thirty minutes, I know I'm going way too long winded right, on my right. feed. So an hour and a half of exploring Tolkien and Roddenberry, um, Lord of the Rings, and Star Trek. It, it was it was really beautiful. It was so fun to see how you know how do each of them approach religion? How do each of them mm. approach? differences of cultures what's what are their views on death what are some common themes there so it was a really fun conversation we had so those are available in their feed and your feed now so if folks are interested yeah. in that okay so go find Absolutely. the captain's pod or uh lore of the rings uh we'll put some maybe links in the show notes for folks to jump or they can jump on the discord cool so when is this coming together of these podcasts yeah absolutely we are scheduled right now for friday october 11th okay uh that's this upcoming Friday. Okay. Uh, scheduled to start at 8 p.m. Eastern. Great. We're going to run for two hours, and uh, we'll see how far we can get in two hours. We're we'll okay. probably we're going to go over character plots. We're going to discuss the moments we loved the most, the moments okay. we hated the most. You've got an outline for us that we're going to work from, sort of. I do. I do. Okay, I cool. have a Great. few. If you have a few bullet points, I've. But the other thing too is this will be a live event with the audience. Oh, and so okay. this isn't okay, cool. This isn't going to be just like a couple of podcasters geeking out together. I do have a lot of things planned to keep the audience engaged a lot. So we're going to do some live Q and A's, some live okay. polls. We're all going right. to take questions from the audience. Uh, I'll I'll probably throw a question out and let all of the podcasters kind of have their ha- have their moment to say their thing. But then we'll turn it back to the audience and have them pr- put in some comments. So my hope is that this can be a really collaborative conversation where yeah the the podcast host might be might be on the stage, but this isn't just a conversation between the four or five of us. This is this okay. is going to involve all of the audience there and using all of those live tools that you can do in a in a live collaboration conversation setting. Okay, this sounds like uh, it could be a lot of fun. I, I like this. So that's going to be October eleventh at eight p.m. Eastern. Where? How? What do people do if they want to participate or join? Yeah, to register today, uh, you can go to ringspodcast.com slash live. That's L-I-V-E. We'll definitely put a link in the show in our show notes for that. And I think yeah, John absolutely. was going to maybe put something up on our Discord as well, like in our okay. community announcements channel. Yeah, that'll be wonderful. That link will take you to a site called Crowdcast, which is the host of our particular event. You can register for the event there. We are asking for $3 as a registration okay. fee. Uh, mm-hmm. But just so that everybody knows, the plan is to take a portion of proceeds and to donate those to a nonprofit or a charity of of choice. Right now, I'm thinking there's just a lot of refugees out there in the world, um, mm-hmm. ravaged for from all sorts of different conflicts all out there. So right. I'm looking at a few refugee type organizations to that we could that we could donate okay. a portion of the proceeds to. And yeah, so ringspodcast.com slash live. They can register right now today. And then they'll they'll be in. They'll get notifications and they okay. can join us and review. Do they and need explore. anything special to view or just a, a, a web browser? Nope. Click on Absolutely. the link when it gets sent to you, and and yep. you can watch. Okay, just cool. a just a web browser. I do think when they go to register at Crowdcast on the on the hosting site, they might need to create an account. 
Okay. Uh, but that's pretty simple. Just kind of, you know, email user, username, password sort of a thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, after that you get notified and emails and, and the whole nine yards. And then is the plan to, what's the plan to do anything with this after? Is this ephemeral and this is just going to be it or, or is some of this going to be available in the, in the future in different mediums and formats? Yeah, great question. That's still a little bit to be decided. I think there's a okay. couple different ideas uh, amongst the the show hosts of of what we want to do after this. Okay. Um, there is some thought of maybe we release it on our separate feeds as sort of a podcast episode, or maybe this is something that we keep kind of behind a a, a paywall, perhaps for the future for like evergreen download. So mm-hmm. we're a little bit undecided on that still. So or it's like a concert. Open. You got to be there, man. Yeah. You know, if you didn't see the Grateful Dead at this place at this time on this date this year, like that was it, right? You know, yeah, there's, if you're, there's if you're not there, that. you missed it. You that's missed right. it, and that's <laughs> and that's really the beauty of being there live. Is, right, is exactly. you do get to engage with all of us as podcast hosts. Mm-hmm. You do get to ask your questions and participate in the polls and really have a just a collaboration together with your favorite podcast host, Lord of the Rings. This is going to be pretty fun. I, I was like, okay, we're going to do a thing together and blah, blah, blah. but like you've got like, you know, <laughs> games and prizes and bells and whistles and <laughs> it yeah, sounds it's, like a good time. It, it will be a lot of fun. And, okay. and I will just say one last thing. If you, if you scroll on social media, you look at any, any post about rings of power mm-hmm. and you get total reactions from opposite ends of the spectrum. People right. love it. People right. hate it. Right. And the thing that I that really discourages discourages me the most is you have Lord of the Rings fans who are like pointing fingers at each other, mm-hmm. calling each other names. Mm-hmm. Um there you've got the conceited people who are like, just go read the books. You know, if you read the books like I did, then you would know how stupid this is. Mm. And you have and you you get all sorts of attitudes and things. And and I look at that and I'm like, guys, we have to be better than the mm-hmm. Star Wars community. Right. Like the <laughs> Star Wars community fan base, they're tearing themselves to pieces. Like Right. We on Lord of the Rings, we have to be better. We can be better. Like, right. let's not be orcs to each other. Right. We, right. We don't have to do that. And so that's really one of my hopes here is that we can come together as podcast hosts, as fans. We can give a fair critique of the things that we feel are 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 worthy of critique. We can praise the things that we feel are worthy of praise, but we don't have to be mean spirited or right, orcish exactly. right. about it. Right. Yeah. And we can come together and have some some good dialogue, some some faithful conversation, just like Tolkien and his friends would do around a pint at the pub. That's one of the things that we have that we've grappled with over our time as podcasters is how to be critical without being negative, how to critique without yes. it's it's such a it can be a nuanced thing. And in the day of social media where you can just react so quickly and there's a lot, there's not oftentimes a lot of nuance in some of these written short form communications. Uh, I I really applaud you trying to reach out and seek for that more um, uh, supportive conversation and dialogue. Like, okay, why didn't you like this? Or what was it that was upsetting about it? Let's get to the reasons. Let's illuminate it. And I think that's, that's really healthy because it's very easy to lose track of that in, in our, modern, fast-paced mm-hmm. day and age. I really appreciate you taking this on. It's probably a lot of work. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it is a lot of work. I am looking forward to it. And, and uh, like I said before, I just, I, I'm, I'm so grateful that there are other podcast hosts and other fans Absolutely. out there who, who are willing to participate in the conversation. And I, I just get to, again, sit at the feet of these right. lower masters. I feel like Bilbo <laughs> at the feet of Elrond. And, uh, and, and if we're going to sit in the hall, the hall of fire, the hall of tales, I can't even remember what they call it in the fellowship right. of the ring, but, but, uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So, uh, what was the URL one more time? Yeah. One more time. It's ringspodcast.com slash live L I V E. And then if people go to Lore of the Rings, to your website, you'll have some information there. We'll put a link in the show notes. We'll definitely have something on mm-hmm. our, our Discord for it. And it's October 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And tickets are $3 with a, a big portion of those going to uh, charitable causes. Yep, absolutely. Great. Okay. Well, Aaron, thanks so much for taking time to stop by. I, I think we're all pretty excited and looking forward to this. And thank you for taking it on. Yeah, well, thank you for being willing to participate. And uh, as I like to say to my audience, thank you for wandering Middle Earth with me today. The Lorehounds podcast is produced and published by The Lorehounds. You can send questions and feedback and voicemails at thelorehounds.com slash contact. 
Get early and ad-free access to all Lorehounds podcasts at patreon.com slash the Lorehounds. Any opinions stated are ours personally and do not reflect the opinion of or belong to any employers or other entities. Thanks for listening.